Water Show Starring Seal Today we are doing water pollution. Water pollution is the contamination of water bodies, with a negative impact on their uses. It is usually a result of human activities. Water bodies include lakes, rivers, oceans, aquifers, reservoirs and groundwater. Water pollution results when contaminants mix with these water bodies. Contaminants can come from one of four main sources. These are sewage discharges, industrial activities, agricultural activities, and urban runoff including stormwater. Water pollution may affect either surface water or groundwater. This form of pollution can lead to many problems. One is the degradation of aquatic ecosystems. Another is spreading waterborne diseases when people use polluted water for drinking or irrigation. Water pollution also reduces the ecosystem services such as drinking water provided by the water resource. Sources of water pollution are either point sources or non-point sources. Point sources have one identifiable cause, such as a storm drain, a wastewater treatment plant or an oil spill. Non-point sources are more diffuse. An example is agricultural runoff. Pollution is the result of the cumulative effect over time. Pollution may take many forms. One would is toxic substances such as oil, metals, plastics, pesticides, persistent organic pollutants, and industrial waste products. Another is stressful conditions such as changes of pH. Hypoxia or anoxia, increased temperatures, excessive turbidity, or changes of salinity. The introduction of pathogenic organisms is another. Contaminants may include organic and inorganic substances. A common cause of thermal pollution is the use of water as a coolant by power plants and industrial manufacturers. Control of water pollution requires appropriate infrastructure and management plans as well as legislation. Technology solutions can include improving sanitation, sewage treatment, industrial wastewater treatment, agricultural wastewater treatment, erosion control, sediment control and control of urban runoff, including stormwater management. A practical definition of water pollution is Water pollution is the addition of substances or energy forms that directly or indirectly alter the nature of the water body in such a manner that negatively affects its legitimate uses. Water is typically referred to as polluted when it is impaired by anthropogenic contaminants. Due to these contaminants, it either no longer supports a certain human use, such as drinking water, or undergoes a marked shift in its ability to support its biotic communities, such as fish. The release of substances into bodies of water that makes water unsafe for human use and disrupts aquatic ecosystems. Water pollution can be caused by a plethora of different contaminants including toxic waste, petroleum, and disease-causing microorganisms. Pollution is the introduction of harmful materials into the environment. These harmful materials are called pollutants. Pollutants can be natural, such as volcanic ash. They can also be created by human activity, such as trash or runoff produced by factories. Pollutants damage the quality of air, water, and land. Major forms of pollution include air pollution, water pollution, litter, noise pollution, plastic pollution, soil contamination, radioactive contamination, 
thermal pollution, light pollution, and visual pollution. Surface water collects on the ground or in a stream, river, lake, reservoir, or ocean. Surface water is constantly evaporating out of water bodies, seeping into groundwater supplies, and being replenished by rain and snow. A spring is where groundwater comes to the surface and becomes surface water. Surface water pollution includes pollution of rivers, lakes and oceans. A subset of surface water pollution is marine pollution which affects the oceans. Nutrient pollution refers to contamination by excessive inputs of nutrients. Globally, about 4.5 billion people do not have safely managed sanitation as of 2017, according to an estimate by the Joint Monitoring Programme for Water Supply and Sanitation. Lack of access to sanitation is concerning and often leads to water pollution, e.g. via the practice of open defecation, during rain events or floods. The human feces are moved from the ground where they were deposited into surface waters. Simple pit latrines may also get flooded during rain events. Image of water pollution The following compounds can all reach water bodies via raw sewage or even treated sewage discharges. Various chemical compounds found in personal hygiene and cosmetic products. Disinfection by products found in chemically disinfected drinking water. Whilst these chemicals can be a pollutant in the water distribution network. They are fairly volatile and therefore not usually found in environmental waters. Hormones, from animal husbandry and residue from human hormonal contraception methods, and synthetic materials such as pH phthalates that mimic hormones in their action. These can have adverse impacts even at very low concentrations on the natural biota and potentially on humans if the water is treated and utilized for drinking water. Insecticides and herbicides, often from agricultural runoff. Pathogens like hepatovirus A, HAV may be present in treated wastewater outflows and receiving water bodies but is largely removed during further treatment of drinking water, inadequately treated. Wastewater can convey nutrients, pathogens, heterogeneous suspended solids and organic fecal matter. Poster to teach people in South Asia about human activities leading to the pollution of water sources. Cities of ancient times were often noxious places, fouled by human wastes and debris. Beginning about 1000 CE, the use of coal for fuel caused considerable air pollution and the conversion of coal to coke for iron smelting beginning in the 17th century exacerbated the problem. Point source water pollution refers to contaminants that enter a waterway from a single, identifiable source, such as a pipe or ditch. Examples of sources in this category include discharges from a sewage treatment plant, a factory, or a city storm drain. The U.S. Clean Water Act, CWA, defines point source for regulatory enforcement purposes. See United States Regulation of Point Source Water Pollution. The CWA definition of point source was amended in 1987 to include municipal storm sewer systems, as well as industrial stormwater, such as from construction sites. 
Sewage typically consists of 99.9% .9 water and 0.1% solids. Sewage contributes many classes of nutrients that lead to eutrophication. It is a major source of phosphate for example. Sewage is often contaminated with diverse compounds found in personal hygiene, cosmetics, pharmaceutical drugs, see also drug pollution, and their metabolites. Water pollution due to environmental persistent pharmaceutical pollutants can have wide-ranging consequences. When sewers overflow during storm events this can lead to water pollution from untreated sewage. Such events are called sanitary sewer overflows or combined sewer overflows. A polluted river draining an abandoned copper mine on Anglesey. Perfluorooctane zilvonic acid, PFOS, is a global pollutant that has been found in drinking water. It appears not to biodegrade. Industrial processes that use water also produce wastewater. This is called industrial wastewater. Using the US as an example, the main industrial consumers of water, using over 60% of the total consumption, a power plants, petroleum refineries, iron and steel mills, pulp and paper mills, and food processing industries. Some industries discharge chemical wastes, including solvents and heavy metals, which are toxic, and other harmful pollutants. Industrial wastewater could add the following pollutants to receiving water bodies if the wastewater is not treated and managed properly. Heavy metals, including mercury, lead, and chromium organic matter and nutrients such as food waste. Certain industries, e.g. food processing, slaughterhouse waste, paper fibers, plant material, etc. Discharge high concentrations of BOD, ammonia nitrogen and oil and grease. Inorganic particles such as sand, grit, metal particles, rubber residues from tires, ceramics, etc. Toxins such as pesticides, poisons, herbicides, etc. Pharmaceuticals, endocrine disrupting compounds, hormones, perfluorinated compounds, siloxanes. Drugs of abuse and other hazardous substances microplastics such as polyethylene and polypropylene beads. Polyester and polyamide thermal pollution from power stations and industrial manufacturers radionuclides from uranium mining, processing nuclear fuel, operating nuclear reactors, or disposal of radioactive waste. Some industrial discharges include persistent organic pollutants such as per- and polyfluoroalkyl substances, PFAS. An oil spill is the release of a liquid petroleum hydrocarbon into the environment, especially the marine ecosystem, due to human activity, and is a form of pollution. The term is usually given to marine oil spills, where oil is released into the ocean or coastal waters, but spills may also occur on land. Oil spills may be due to releases of crude oil from tankers. Offshore platforms, drilling rigs and wells, as well as spills of refined petroleum products, such as gasoline and diesel fuel, and thereby products. Heavier fuels used by large ships such as bunker fuel, or the spill of any oily refuse or waste oil. Surface water pollution includes pollution of rivers, lakes and oceans. A subset of surface water pollution is marine pollution which affects the oceans. Nutrient pollution refers to contamination by excessive inputs of nutrients. Globally, about 4.5 billion people do not have safely managed sanitation as of 2017, according to an estimate by the Joint Monitoring Program for Water Supply and Sanitation. 
Lack of access to sanitation is concerning and often leads to water pollution, e.g. via the practice of open defecation, during rain events or floods. The human feces are moved from the ground where they were deposited into surface waters. Simple pit latrines may also get flooded during rain events. Nutrient pollution caused by surface runoff of soil and fertilizer during a rainstorm. Nutrient pollution, a form of water pollution, refers to contamination by excessive inputs of nutrients. It is a primary cause of eutrophication of surface waters, lakes, rivers and coastal waters, in which excess nutrients, usually nitrogen or phosphorus, stimulate algal growth. Sources of nutrient pollution include surface runoff from farm fields and pastures. Discharges from septic tanks and feedlots, and emissions from combustion. Raw sewage is a large contributor to cultural eutrophication since sewage is high in nutrients. Releasing raw sewage into a large water body is referred to as sewage dumping, and still occurs all over the world. Excess reactive nitrogen compounds in the environment are associated with many large-scale environmental concerns. These include eutrophication of surface waters, harmful algal blooms, hypoxia, acid rain, nitrogen saturation in forests, and climate change. The Brayton Point Power Station in Massachusetts discharged heated water to Mount Hope Bay until 2011. Thermal pollution, sometimes called thermal enrichment, is the degradation of water quality by any process that changes ambient water temperature. Thermal pollution is the rise or drop in the temperature of a natural body of water caused by human influence. Thermal pollution, unlike chemical pollution, results in a change in the physical properties of water. A common cause of thermal pollution is the use of water as a coolant by power plants and industrial manufacturers. Urban runoff, stormwater discharged to surface waters from rooftops, roads, and parking lots, and reservoirs can also be a source of thermal pollution. Thermal pollution can also be caused by the release of very cold water from the base of reservoirs into warmer rivers. Solid waste and plastics in the Lachine Canal, Canada. Solid waste can enter water bodies through untreated sewage, combined sewer overflows, urban runoff, people discarding garbage into the environment. Wind carrying municipal solid waste from landfills and so forth. This results in macroscopic pollution, large visible items polluting the water, but also microplastics pollution that is not directly visible. The terms marine debris and marine plastic pollution are used in the context of pollution of oceans. Microplastics persist in the environment at high levels particularly in aquatic and marine ecosystems, where they cause water pollution. 35% of all ocean microplastics come from textiles, clothing, primarily due to the erosion of polyester, acrylic, or nylon-based clothing, often during the washing process. Stormwater, untreated sewage and wind are the primary conduits for microplastics from land to sea. 
Synthetic fabrics, tires, and city dust are the most common sources of microplastics. These three sources account for more than 80% of all microplastic contamination. Groundwater pollution, also called groundwater contamination, occurs when pollutants are released to the ground and make their way into groundwater. This type of water pollution can also occur naturally due to the presence of a minor and unwanted constituent, contaminant, or impurity in the groundwater, in which case it is more likely referred to as contamination rather than pollution. Groundwater pollution can occur from on-site sanitation systems, landfill leachate, effluent from wastewater treatment plants, leaking sewers, petrol filling stations, hydraulic fracturing, fracking, or from over-application of fertilizers in agriculture. Pollution, or contamination, can also occur from naturally occurring contaminants, such as arsenic or fluoride. Using polluted groundwater causes hazards to public health through poisoning or the spread of disease, waterborne diseases.